having a member of the band. So let's hear it for Daisy Jones. Thank you for being here and for doing this with us. Thank you for having me. So it's been what? Four weeks? I wrote a song. <clears throat> well, actually, I've written about 20 songs I'd like to play for you guys. Sorry. I wasn't trying to cut you off or anything. I just, I'm excited about it, so. OK. What? So I think 70s, maybe like Aretha Franklin, because my mother used to listen to a lot of Aretha Franklin. And in terms of songs, kind of any of them. Favorite musician would be Bill Withers. Let's say the Kinks. Jimi Hendrix, uh, All Along the Watchtower. From the 1970s, uh, I'd say probably Fleetwood Mac. I, I grew up uh, listening to Fleetwood Mac without knowing who they were. Um, my parents had one of those tapes that would just be on repeat. For, so any road trip, uh, any, 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 any time we're in the car, we'd listen to Fleetwood Mac on repeat. Ooh, okay, I think my favorite song from the 1970s would have to be To Love Somebody by the Bee Gees. I can just listen to it over and over again. I was listening to it this morning, it's in my head, I can't stop. Uh, the 70s, probably Ruben Blades, Hector Lavoe, Willie Colon. If I could bring one thing back from the 70s, Aesthetically, I think I would bring everything back because I prefer the clothing, I prefer the cars, I prefer the architecture um, and the music and the cinema. So I just think we're kind of, we've regressed since then. <laughs> okay, if I could bring back one thing from the 70s, it would be man or far out, because they used to say everything was far out, or the headscarves, or the really big glasses. Probably these bell bottoms. I would bring back um, openness and lack of fear and curiosity. That's what people have lost, as far as I'm concerned. I'd probably say flares. Um, they, they had a comeback in the 90s, if I remember rightly, uh, and I, I could never quite pull it off. I'm not saying that I can pull it off now, but I, I think I'm, I'm definitely, um, through this process of you know making this and living in the 70s for the last six months, I've definitely, I've really, uh, yeah, the trend has, has, has grown on me. There's actually um, a 1970s saying that goes, uh, ah, suki suki. <laughs> so I would bring back that. Um, that it, was in, it was also in the movie Something About Mary, and it kind of took me a while to connect it because I've always wondered why my name was sort of in that movie. But I would definitely bring back, ah, suki suki. I've been doing a lot of research for the lingo stuff, and, and I think one of my favorites was uh, uh, stop dipping in my Kool-Aid. I like that phrase a lot. I think there's a lot of 70s phrases that are like primo stuff. I mean, the 70s was like, there's so many incredible filmmakers, like, you know, John Cassavetes and Terrence Malick and Stanley Kubrick, love all of them. But probably would be, if I'm honest, I loved that movie, The Rescuers, when I was little. I loved it. I believe that was made in the 70s. Godfather. There was a lot of, a lot of good ones in that time period, but uh, let's go with Monty Python and the Holy Grail. The Graduate. The Godfather, part one and part two. Um, yeah, huge, huge fan of The Godfather. Favorite movie from the late 70s? It has to be Shampoo. I mean, Warren Beatty, Julie Christie, she had the best hair in that movie. It's all about, I, I just love like hairstyles, Goldie Horn. Um, that movie is phenomenal. Probably The Holy Mountain or Suspedia, Deep Red. At the Whiskey A Go Go, if I'm being honest, I would likely order a sparkling water because I don't really drink alcohol. <laughs> Um, if I was feeling crazy, I'd probably drink a beer. I would get a vodka gimlet. The, the whiskey. Prop, you gotta, right? <laughs> Gin and tonic. Like some sort of whiskey cocktail. I'm not a big fan of whiskey, but I, I, feel, I feel like I couldn't, I couldn't leave that place, that establishment without at least uh, testing, testing the water. Um, so yeah, a whiskey. 
I would probably just go for a, a, I'm kind of like a whiskey on the rocks person at the whiskey. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> probably an old fashioned, that's like the standby. You know, you can't go wrong. Oh my gosh, Chicago Stadium. Duh. Nice. <laughs> LA, Whiskey A Go Go, Troubadour, anything on Sunset Strip? I think, uh, let's go New York. New Orleans. LA, I think, I, I've spent a lot of time in LA before, but never for very long periods of time. Um, the length of stays that was been like three or four days. So like, it's been nice actually living here um, for, for nearly a year uh, and kind of exploring the city and getting to know the city and getting to know the people. I haven't been that many places outside of New York and New York and LA, like maybe a San Francisco show or a Chicago show. These are all places I haven't been in America. So I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to like expand out of my um, West Coast, East Coast bubble. Um, I would say probably Pittsburgh. You know, you get to go back home where it all started and you have like the family in the front row and all that. And that's gonna be a real fun show for sure. I think it's Houston, we have a problem, but it also could be that's one stall. Okay, they're saying yes, it was Houston, we have a problem. That's one small step for a man and a giant leap for mankind. Oh, Houston, we have a problem. That's been so mocked that I actually don't even know where it comes from anymore. <laughs> you know, like, it feels like, yeah. You should see it from up here. No, like I said, it was Houston. Uh, Teddy's got a problem. Uh, is it, is it Houston we had a problem? Oh, thank God. Okay. I'm gonna go B, that's one small step for mankind, one giant leap for mankind. Humanity. For man. Ah, uh, so I kinda got it. <laughs> oh, wow, it has gotta be Pet Rock. I'm gonna go with B Slinky only because of Lords of Dogtown. Nah, what? Oh my god, my mom had a pet rock. I think S Silly Putty. Ah, nah, oh, I don't even know what a pet rock is. I've got no idea. I mean, I feel like maybe a Slinky. I see some heads shaking. <laughs> <laughs> a pet rock. Wish I had a pet rock when I was a kid. <laughs> it is A, the Sunset Strip. The answer is Sunset Strip. Yeah, you got it. Sunset Strip? What are you talking about? <laughs> I would have to say it's pants, but the American pants, not the English pants, which is undies. Pants? Yep, you got it. Okay, that's crazy. Pants. Yeah. Oh, great. I got one out of three. Okay. As much as <laughs> A goatee is rocked very well by a certain Tom Wright in this series. Um, I believe it might be B, sideburns. Um, you got it. Woo! <laughs> These are all wrong. Look at my face, all right? The mustache is the obvious answer here. What are y'all doing? <laughs> what? I mean, it's gotta be sideburns, right? Is it the hustle? Yes! yes! The hustle. Yep, got it. <laughs> got one. 
Um, I'm looking for everyone to help me. Um, is that Macarena? No. Yeah, I'm Latin, so I went for it. Okay, this is bad. This cannot come out anywhere. Continue. <laughs> The Navy. Yeah, they had the striped shirts and the, the bell bot. I always thought it was weird. I never understood that. Navy. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Uh, I think I think it's the Navy. I don't I, I don't know, but I feel like I've seen sailors still, some sailors still rocking rocking the old flare. So that's that's my prediction. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Laurel Canyon, that's where the six lives. Uh, well, I know this, but only because I watched the documentary called Laurel Canyon or Echo in the Canyons. Uh, I think there's a few, but yeah, Laurel Canyon, so it's sea um, for sure. Okay, it is finally here. Daisy Jones and the Six is now available on Amazon Prime, so you can tap here. You better watch it now. Thank mm -hmm. you.